Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. In this video, we're going to see how you can base a track around a vocal sample in BandLab, including making accompanying chords, beats, and bass. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to 125 beats per minute. I open BandLab Sounds to find a suitable vocal sample. I enter Dance Vocal into the text search field and open the Dance Vocal Phrases pack. I drag Keep Dancing 02 120 E flat minor vocals into the project. BandLab asks me if I'd like to set the project key to that of the sample. I do, so I select Set. I also drag Keep Dancing 01 120 E flat minor vocals into the project too, placing that at the start of the third bar. And keep dancing, and keep dancing. Currently, these vocals spill into the next bar, and I'd like to tighten them up so that I have the flexibility to use different chords on each bar. So, I truncate the vocals and fade them so that they're confined to the bar they start on. And keep dancing. And keep dancing. I'd like to add some processing to make the vocals sound like they're in a space. So I open the effects panel, click the presets menu, and select the vocals, modern hook preset. This adds a processing chain that gives the vocals a polished sheen. And keep dancing. And keep dancing. To give me more room in the mix to add other elements, I bring this track down to minus 5 dB. Now that I have a vocal sample, it's time to compose some music around it. I add a virtual instrument track, leaving it on the default grand piano preset. I bring this track's level down to minus 12 dB to balance it with the vocal sample. The key of the vocal is labeled, so I already know it's an E flat minor. So I start by adding an E flat minor chord. Keep dancing. I duplicate this chord out. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I'd like this chord to go down, so I move it down. If I use a B major chord, the third and the fifth of the chord are the same notes as the root and the third of the first chord. This gives us a consistent sound that feels right for the vocal. Keep dancing. And keep dancing. I then use A flat minor, which again uses shared notes from the previous chord. And keep dancing. And keep dancing. For the final chord, I want to go up. And keep dancing. And keep dancing. A minor doesn't sound good, so I try B flat minor. And keep dancing. That sounds much better. I add a rhythm to the chord progression using staccato chords. And keep dancing. And keep dancing. I now have the two things I need to base a track around, a rhythm and a musical idea. Next I want to add some drums. In BandLab Sounds, I select the Loops tab and enter House into the text search field. I then set the instrument filter to Drum. I drag Chush 126 Drums 024 bars into the project. I set this track to minus 8 dB to balance it with the other elements. Now I want to make a bass line. I add a virtual instrument track and set it to Synth Basses, Deep House. I set this track to plus 2 dB to balance it with the other elements. I compose a bass line that follows the root note of the chords, with some extra touches to funk it up a little. Next I want to add some extra energy to the drums. In BandLab Sounds, I enter Shaker into the text search field and drag Chill 04 90 DL3 Shaker 4 bar into the project. I set this track to plus 3 dB to balance it with the other elements. Keep 
I'd like to tighten this loop up, so in the effects panel I add a dynamics pumper effect and set its time to 16th notes. I now have what will be the main part of the song, and I want to create a B section as quickly as possible. So I duplicate out the A section and delete the vocal. I then truncate the bass line to one bar in length, then loop it out so that it lasts for a four bar section, minus the last one and a half beats. I do the same with the piano part. This gives me a quick verse to the main section's chorus. For the arrangement, I have just the drums play for the first eight bars. Then the piano comes in. On bar 17, the bass comes in. On bar 25, the vocal comes in, and our track is at its peak. On bar 33, we switch up to the B section. On bar 41, we return to the A section, first without the vocal, and then with. On bar 57, we have the B section again. On bar 65, the piano drops out, for a beats and bass only outro. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!